with head coach Larry Subbrook before the baseball team takes off for a three-game set at Xavier this weekend. Uh, coach, before we get to the Musketeers, last weekend you sweep St. Louis to get back to 6-6 six and six in conference play. Uh, great pitching all three games and clutch hitting, especially from Billy Urban. Uh, if you would just kind of talk about last weekend and Eddie Gray gets pitcher of the week, Billy Urban gets player of the week for you. Well, we told our guys since the very first weekend when we blew the uh, two games in the last inning against Richmond, when you go 0-3, if you're going to get yourself back in the hunt somewhere, you have to go 3-0. and And we accomplished that last weekend, and probably against somewhat of an unlikely source. That's the defending Atlantic 10 champions. And they had just beaten Charlotte 2 out of 3, who's ranked in the top 20 and in the top 30 in uh, different polls. So it was certainly uh, some big wins for us that got us back in the uh, uh, hunt for a playoff spot. And uh, Eddie Gray has pr been a mainstay pretty much for us since uh, the first time he took the mound down in Florida. He's been very solid. Uh, and he may even have had some outings where he was a little better than uh, this particular one against St. Louis, but we're certainly glad for him to receive the, uh, the honor. And in Billy Urban's case, I mean, those numbers pretty much speak for himself. He not only had a ton of hits, he had a lot of extra base hits, and he had big hits that uh, won some of those games for us. So obviously two guys that were well-deserving of those uh, awards. And on Wednesday, you split uh, against Canisius. You get one seven-inning game, and the other one's called short after five. How important is was it for you to get those games in? Because you really haven't been able to get a lot of midweek games in. Well, it's important from the viewpoint of some of the guys that uh, you're still developing, uh, sophomore uh, uh, Bert uh, Nalepa, uh, Robert Nalepa, and then uh, Asa Johnson, a freshman. I mean, some of those guys, Nick Brennan, who had pitched at the top of the rotation for us early in the year and then struggled. He got to pitch again and uh, definitely moved himself up. He had a great outing. Uh, but the other thing that I thought the, the uh, Canisius game showed is it continued to show uh, for as long as I've been here, I've always said that, you know, we're going to struggle out of the gate because we can't get outside and we don't have a field house. But after we play some games, uh, if we're any good, we start to figure things out. And we continued to show that improvement. Uh, we lost two home games early in the year uh, badly to UB. We went up there and won two, and uh, one of them quite handily. Uh, we've uh, uh, rebounded from that bad first weekend at Richmond to sweep a good St. Louis team. Uh, we played Canisius early in the year up at their place and got hammered in a game, and we come back yesterday and play a 2 nothing, one nothing game. Uh, so, you know, we continue to compete. We continue to get better. They certainly weren't perfect games. We did some horrible base running errors. Uh, but we continue to get better offensively, pitching-wise and defense-wise. And now you go into Xavier, uh, both teams. You're both one, one spot out of that final sixth spot in the A-10 for postseason berth. Uh, Xavier picked second in the conference preseason. Uh, they're sitting at 6-6, six and six, maybe a little deceiving. They got swept by uh, league leader Charlotte. They lost two out of three at Richmond. Uh, your take on the Xavier team? Well, they're always very good. I mean, they're one of the fully funded uh, Southern programs that uh, has a lot of advantages. Uh, obviously, it's a big series for us, but I don't look at it as a series where, boy, if we don't take two out of three, uh, the, the world is over. Uh, you need to get one. You know, you want to go in. You don't want to get swept somewhere where you put yourself right back in the position where you've got to sweep again to get back to that 500 mark. So we, we'd really like to steal one down there. And this has been a place that we've struggled to win at over the years. We've won a few games down there, but not a whole lot. I mean, they're very good on their home field. It's got very short dimensions, and they pitch and play to those dimensions. Uh, I mean, I think we have 13 home runs as a team, and they've got a guy uh, batting in the two-hole for him that's got 12. Uh, so uh, the bats, uh, the difference in the bats obviously haven't changed him too much. So they're going to be a challenge. They swing the bats. We're on the road. Uh, it's a tough place to win. Uh, if we can get a W out of there to keep our head above water so that we can uh, make a little more uh, hay a little later in the year and some of our other uh, A-10 weekends. So... Uh, we're just looking to go down there and steal a game. And, and finally, pitching within the conference for you has been phenomenal. You have three guys in the top ten of the A-10 games only uh, in ERA, um, Cale Johnson, Eddie Gray, and uh, Andrew Ravello. Um, again, the, the importance in pitching going into these conference matchups. Well, without a doubt. And uh, I think uh, uh, Jordan Crane could probably be in that mix if he hadn't been hurt so many times with the knee, but he's been throwing the ball. He came off a an eight-inning performance against St. Louis that was huge for us to save our bullpen. So those four guys have been pretty solid, and even Nicky Brennan may be joining that group now coming off the outing he had. So, you know, I think we've got the arms, as long as we stay healthy down the stretch here, that we'll be able to compete. We've just got to keep uh, scoring a few more runs and uh, playing a little better defense. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck.